Yo, man, we back with another video, man. This is Afro, the coldest samurai. So this is a black anime dude? Hey, we got to check this out, but I do got a special guest. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at, though. Hi, my name is Princess Bridge. You can find me on Instagram at Princess underscore Bridge. Also on TikTok, Princess underscore Bridge. Oh, how you spell it again? Say that one more time. P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S underscore B-R-I-C-K-S. You say what? You going to do a fashion walk? at the end of the video if you want me to do a link i can hey go ahead go ahead <laughs> Right, here so why we they go. fighting the bad shawty's out here watching from a distance so she calls up dj noodle barnacle and tells him play my sh baby so bro pulls out his mixtape he said i'm about to go platinum with this <laughs> and they end up getting jumped by the damn foot clan Okay, that's just the beginning right there, you know what I'm saying? But this is an Afro dude right here. This is a black dude. Hey, you about to All see right, it. ladies and gentlemen. It is time to return once again to the round table of Black Air Force activity. Okay. A series that we observe. So just to know, you know what Black Force energy mean, right? Yeah. They about that street life, you know what I'm saying? You got Black right. Forces. If you got Black Force, I don't trust you. Hey, you got to run, you know what I'm saying? Run for cover. That's all we do, you know what I mean? Analyze. 2D niggas going to beat the shit out of other 2D niggas for our joy and entertainment. And ladies and gentlemen, without wasting time, I'm going to just go ahead and tell you. Today, we is going over one of the coldest niggas to ever grace a manga panel in animation itself. And not to mention the niggas res is unspoken. Sin. But ladies and gentlemen, the coldest samurai to ever do it, this nigga Afro. I okay. Mean, come on, yo, this man was so cold. You ever heard of him? To get Samuel oh, yeah. L. Jackson to voice yeah. this nigga. Why I mean, ain't he What him? more evidence do you need? I mean, I I'm still going to do the trial and shit, but uh, y'all already know we got the evidence on deck. So uh, strap in, get some popcorn, and uh, without further ado. <clears throat> Here we exhibit go. Exhibit A. Okay, so he do the little exhibit things. Yeah, alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to understand how this man became the coldest nigga to ever walk the earth, we gotta go back to the past. Now, okay. as you can see, Afro is a little ugly ass jit. I ain't even gonna lie to you. You, you look like an alien. Bro is not built like the <laughs> big yeah. ass NPC. Yeah, let's give him so bone that ass. That big ass ball head. This nigga is a <laughs> <laughs> and then look at this man, dad. This man is cold as a mug. So Afro's dad has the number one headband. And you see, the number one headband in this world basically means you is the coldest man to walk the earth. So he like you a black bill. But there comes some baggage with it. Because everybody's your op. Everybody wants the goddamn headband. But you have to have the number two headband to challenge the number one. So Afro's okay, that dad makes is sense. about to face off against the number two headband. Now you see, the holder of the number two headband is this man named Justice. But to be honest with ourselves, this is literally Freddy Krueger. Right. No time. Bro pulled out the two revolvers and started blasting. But that man Afro's dad was the coldest man on the earth for a reason. He started blitzing, bro. Had this man on his heels tiptoeing back to Elm Street. Okay. So as he has bro right where he wants him, he goes in for the kill shot. But unfortunately, Freddy had tricks up his sleeves. He so Freddy, that's the dude that this he... nigga right in front of his son. What? <laughs> Fatality. Dang, in front of his son. In front of his son. Hey. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. <sighs> bro, I say, see, I would have pulled out the shotgun. I wouldn't need to no chances at all, bro. You gonna put I mean, come on, bro. It's not a fight at that point. Hey, uh, this is like you know, this is my friend of my son. Hey, I'm about to I'm about to do whatever gun. You know, whatever I could pick up more. That sword just ain't gonna help, bro. He already too powerful, man. And then this man picks up his head, what? takes off the number one headband, and throws it at this little nigga. He said, here's your nappy headed ass what? daddy head, boy. So then he Oh, that's savage. He threw his dad's head. And just saw his dad's head get cut off. And he says, ooh, it's unfortunate you had to see that little nigga. Ah, but it's all good, though. Cause guess what? You fed or what? You fed or what? You fed or what? You fed or what? You fed It's a pack watch on Elm Street, nigga! What? <laughs> What? <laughs> so after Afro just witnessed <laughs> Freddy Krueger put his dad in a pack and smoke, smoke it right in front of his face, what? his quest for revenge. Hold on, so he put his head in... Now he smoked him. <laughs> he smoked it like a blunt. Like his head. Hey, that is crazy though. I ain't gonna lie. That's insane. Began. 
Now, I ain't gonna lie, the man went through some tough times. Bro got jumped by some bandits while they was playing with his dad's skull. Bro said, oh, yes, you, nigga. and sends him flying and leaves him for dead. How but is he this head still around? By Gino and Otsudu, and he ends up getting raised in a sword fighting orphanage and trained in sword fighting under his master, who is going to be very important later on. So one day, Afro's out with Gino when Otsudu selling some fruit, and he ends up overhearing these dudes talking about, hey, so is number two really back in town? Yeah, man, apparently he's back from smoking all the ops. So this man Afro overheard this and he decided, hmm, I'm gonna go jump this nigga. So later on, he runs up on bro, beating some cheeks in the room. Hey, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> and runs up on him like, wait, number two nigga. And bro's like, hey, bro, chill. You see me busy up in here, don't you? Yeah, yeah, fuck all that. Her booty stank anyways. Where's the number two nigga? So bro tried to pull out the strap, but Afro slits his throat. Makes his shorty pass out and just straight up murders, bro. Bro, cock blocked the dude and killed him. Oh bro, man, that's tough. Yet. And basically gave yeah, him a channel tough. speech. That's you should have gone tough. for the head. Hey, that's a way to go out, man. You you hear the cheeks and then bruh come in and then kill you right there. Hey, she probably so dry, she probably so messed up now. She probably ain't, ain't gonna give it up anymore to nobody, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna just keep it a band with you. She's so dramatized so right now. Just traumatized. Mm -hmm. I'm saying dramatized. She traumatized. <laughs> hey, she ain't gonna do that no more, man. That's crazy, man. I couldn't even imagine that. And marks himself. So later on, bro's crew ends up pulling up on Afro and all the kids because they trying to slide back for their nigga. So they pull up on Afro and straight up surround them. They are really about okay. to jump a little kid. They said, we sliding for background character 384. So Afro said, I right, then bet. So he started drinking his lemonade. Who the lemonade at, bro? And used it as a distraction to take his sword and decapitate, bro. Whoa, so okay. his breath in this dude's eyes. Ah, he's so on dude's arm makes this guy kill his own teammate. Dang. Slices his grown ass man in half. But then Gollum comes behind him and grabs him and starts saying, My precious. But Afro headbutts him. Bro misfires and gets a betrayal. But then this ugly bum right here ends up whacking him. This Pirates of the Caribbean region. Looking muff, but then bro starts stepping on him and saying, Yeah, we slotted for our nigga Regka. But one of the kids ends up throwing a spear at him and cutting off his ear. This nigga's Mike Tyson. Then Afro jumps up and shoves this blade in bro's neck. But then Afro started saying, Where's number two? I'm gonna kill that nigga. But then bro told him, The number two is dead. And somebody what? Did already killed him. So this is where we're going to end our first flashback sequence. Because this is just the first one. Everything will make what? sense. What? So the one that killed his dad is already dead. And he was trying to get his get back. You know what I'm saying? Hey, that's crazy, man later so now we go to the present now as we can see afro is the holder of the number two headband and he is about to get jumped so this bandit walk up and he like well 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 looks like this is the end of the road for you afro samurai now me and my boy is about to yank that headband off of that nappy ass head of yours <laughs> You nappy headed motherfucker. But this man Afro was not phased. Bro sped out the Zaza hit that pose. So they all start running at this man like some hungry ass hyenas. So bro shoots this oh musket, my. but Afro cuts the bullet in half and it ends up spreading and killing everybody what? behind them. And look at all these ugly bastards just running to their death. This was a damn massacre, not even a fight. I don't even think bro broke a sweat. Look at this dodge, it <laughs> went through the nigga's hair. And this was just disgusting. An absolute bloodbath. Oh my Bro, so God. He sees back to the fire logs. So then after it's all over, the lead band is like, wow, why you had to do this to us, nigga? The fuck we do to deserve this, car? And you want to know what Afro's response was? Bro, just casually smoked their back. <laughs> Bro said, rip, bum ass nigga. Then after that, he went to his imaginary friend, Ninja Ninja. And bro said, hey, pass that shit, nigga. And look at his monstrous inhale. Bro said, <laughs> God damn. So after that massacre, hey, word starts spreading out that What is he smoking, though? That's what I want to know, though. You know what I'm saying? What he got? <laughs> Afro's back in town. Everybody in this bar is shook. 
They like, boy, ain't no way in hell that nigga real. And I know everybody in this bar gotta be high as fuck. It is smoky as shit. Probably smells like straight black and miles, gas in a two pack of ass. So this man <laughs> ever walk in here and all these sketchy ass muff cause of shook. So he walk up to the fine ass bartender. I ain't gonna lie. So she like, hey, how you doing, baby? What you feeling today? Penny, Patron, Crown, Bacardi. I could make a mean ass mojito, nigga. So you think Afro would get hey, a mean crown ass all drink, day? Like just straight Hennessy oh, straight yeah. out the bottle. You know what, bro? I said, I can't Lemonade. mess with the brown. Ice cold. What? Embarrassing. <laughs> well, everybody like, hey, what the fuck? Oh, soft ass nigga. Look at this big black nigga looking like Balrog. Bro slams the glass of lemonade. And he's like, yo, nigga, you best drink a man's drink, huh? But Afro lifted up his hand and Shotty was like, another one on his tab? So then Big Boy tried to swing at him, but Afro backhands bro and sends him in the spit. And look at this unspoken Riz. She was like, God damn. So oh. Afro pulls out this crazy she ass. She was turned on by that. And she's like, damn, you cold as hell. And bro took a mean ass sip and said, God damn. And after that, it was wraps. The bartender was ready to give up the poom poom. So after Afro left the bar, some dude from the bar followed him and he ends up pulling out this big ass crossbow. Hey, I would have ran though. You know what I'm saying? That, that dude was big from the bar. I mean, the way he tossed him. So you say you seen this before? No, I didn't see this before. Yeah, you see this one before? Oh, okay. <laughs> That was crazy though. And just started shooting. Yeah, bro came ready to hit a lick. So while after was was all the arrows, bro got desperate, so he pulled out the new tool. Bro said, "I'm getting that headband at any means cost." But Afro <laughs> came down and just made uh, arrow bro. gun. Bro stabbed him in I the ain't head. Never seen bro said, "Night, night, motherfucker." But after he watched this idiot, is where stuff got crazy. This big ass nigga comes from the top of the cliff, pulls out a. RPG and bro shot that thing and Afro got blown off a cliff. That brother is slumped. So after Afro gets so blown he off dead a after cliff, that, he ends up getting found and taken care of by this. Oh my God! Just yacked of a. I, I, I guess when you just the number two coldest nigga in the world, you usually get all the bad bitches, don't you? But Shotty <laughs> was so bad, she even had this man Afro mesmerized. He ended up seeing her butt booty naked. She looked at him like, hey. And Bo just looked at her and said, yacht. But little did Afro know Shotty was two timing him the whole time. She was working with the goddamn hey. Peanut Head Collective, the ones that shot Afro off the cliff. So she asked him to stay. She like, hey, um, so can you? That's tough right there. What? Hold on. What she say? But that's real life though. She working with the ops. Mmm. You know. Oh, back door. She back door. She about to back door, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> She, you know, because he got shot off that cliff. She working uh -huh. with them, whoever shot him off the cliff. That's yeah. who she working with. That wasn't no coincidence. With no, the same. goddamn Peanut Head Collective, the ones that shot Afro off the cliff. So she asked him to stay. She like, hey, um, so can you uh watch these fireworks with me? So they went outside, started watching these fireworks, and she just got freaky as shit. She started rubbing up on this man's arms, started kissing him. So obviously, that man Afro was like, oh, I'm busting the shit out of these chicks. <laughs> and yeah, uh, you know what happened next. Turn on the R&B music, nigga. These are my hands, YouTube. These are my hands. As you can see, I'm just closing in to congratulate a young nigga for getting some ass. No way, bro. So after no Afro way. dropped off the BBC glizzy destruction, Shawty said, God, this, I can't do this no more. She ends up betraying the League of Peanut Heads because she was like, nah, I can't do this. The BBC too good. But dang, he laid it down that was, good. This is actually his childhood friend, Otsudu, the whole time. The one that straight up found him when he was left for dead. And she said she wanted to watch the fireworks with him before she died. So while they having this sentimental last conversation, they end up getting ran up on by the ops. So Afro's telling his Shawty, you need to get the stepping butt oh. and the peanut head on top like stupid bitch letting the BBC hypnotize you and shit and then they just straight up dang what you think about that it'd be like that it'd be exactly like that dang so she 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 came to set him up 
But she got hypnotized after he laid it down. She got mm-hmm. hypnotized, you know what I'm saying? And now the story changed and she ended up getting killed. Hey, man. <laughs> Dang, that's tough. All right, Peter, her, man. All right, Peter, her, man. I thought it was going to have a love story over here, but no, nah, it ain't having this down, bro. Yeah, that Dude, quick. Man. Afro was hurt, but this done made the man even more revenge driven. Bro, was like, first my oh. dad, now my shawty? Nah, nigga, that ain't gonna do. And then this man, Ninja Ninja, come out and he started talking, saying, Hey, my brother, I mean, at least you got the hit. Now keep this pick that she gave you. Hey, that's that true. Ass head, boy. <laughs> so Afro goes up and runs up on the Empty Seven Clan, or basically what I've been calling them the whole time the League of Peanut Heads or the Peanut Head Collective. I mean, they basically the League of Shadows with Peanut Heads. But, anyways, they ended up making a robot clone of this man look at his blood his face and his doppelganger what? bro doing the same thing that he doing so afro started getting into it with the afro bot but i ain't gonna lie afro was getting whooped and then the peanut heads on top like yes my brothers witness that nappy headed ass nigga get his ass <laughs> but that man afro had to lock in so that man had to unlock the earliest form of ultra instinct but we ain't know what the hell to call this back in 2007 so he unlocked the power of bob and weed and look at his elegant ass jump then he just slices bro right down the middle made light work of that phony ass ai so later on while he's basically raiding their palace he ends up running up on this one peanut head and bro is just sitting there with some damn headphones on his head i don't know what bro listening to but it sound like he listened to some party leaks bro saying she suck on my dick i put out her back <laughs> under the floor <laughs> not that bbc hey. then bro just starts pouring <laughs> some tea then just starts bowing down saying Please just let me listen to my Cardi leaks in peace. So after Afro passed him, he ends up running up on the big ass dude that shot him off the cliff. But Afro okay. made sure to look at this bozo. Bro came from the roof and said, oh, okay. this is for my shawty. But then dude spawned more peanut heads from his backpack. This nigga is Cell, bro just pooped out the Cell Juniors. So they straight up surround him. So this one run at him, but Afro shoves the sheath of the sword in his chest. And he just throws him at the other dude. And bro's like, oh shit, get off me brother five. But Afro just picks up this oh. sword and just makes a peanut kebab. Bruh. So about five minutes a later, he walks into the- <laughs> What the heck, bro? I mean, he he just went all the way savage out here. You know what I'm saying? And how was they hiding in that backpack anyway? Exactly. That's crazy this right there. Off. This lit though. I like it. You like it? Mm-hmm. His next room and blood right here think he playing splinter cell bro thinks he's camouflaged in the bodies with his night vision but this man probably had the most brutal death in this entire show so he trying to sneak him but then he looking in the thing he like wait a minute where he go after he pops this man's eyes out and shoves the thing in his eye socket what? oh my goodness this was a dude that but was nah, listening to the party crazy this damn afro bot came back so then they start having the fight of the century. This hole goes up to kingdom come. And then they just start fighting while falling through the clouds. But that man Afro got a good stab on him and the robot was like, oh shit, danger, danger. <laughs> and Afro just slams the robot back into the palace. And then the sword comes down right into its head and the robot ends up blowing a load. Pause, but literally. Oh, yeah, that did sound like sus. That felt it hurt. good. <laughs> So after Afro cooked the entire league of peanut heads and spun back for his shawty, he ends up running up on a man with a teddy, a teddy bear, bear on his head. And he's like, I've been waiting a long time for this, Afro Samurai. This nigga is breathing and sounding like- I just want to know how he fighting like that. He's smoking a pack. You know, he got to be high as his mind. You know what I'm saying? But still out to fight at the same time. Hey, that's insane right there. I know, I know you'll probably be kind of dizzy. Me, I'll be paranoid. I'll be looking behind me, everything. You know what I'm saying? Me too. Me too. Like, I can't bro, do that. He's sticking with a blunt in his mouth and still able to fight like that. Hey, that's crazy. Bro. Feel wrong. Feel wrong. 
Darth Vader. This man, Samuel L. Jackson, must have loved that role as Mace Windu because this entire fight was a Star Wars reference. But this man, Afro, does not draw his sword and he just starts running away. And then he started getting cooked a little bit. So Teddy Bear Darth Vader's like, How dare you mock me, nigga? I mean, you're already one with the dark side, are you not? Hey, nigga, that's kinda racist. Quiet, you ignorant imbecile. I'm just speaking the facts. He jumps up and just slams him through this entire building. So then Dang. he ends up taking off the teddy bear mask. And this is his other childhood friend, Gino. So what now hell, we end ugly. up moving to our second <laughs> flashback. And how no, it's so Afro random. Actually Everything got the number two head man. So do you remember his master that took him in and raised him and trained him in sword fighting? Yeah, uh, Brody had the number two headband the whole time. But this what? man Afro said, I do not care if you are my master. I need that musty ass headband, nigga. And he's like, do you dare fight me, boy? I raised you. I was the father that stepped up. But all these bandits end up running up on them and all they students, because everybody wants that number two headband. But it was a literal bloodbath. All of Afro's <laughs> friends just started dying. Gino got his back blown out. And then after this, his master turns around and he's like, Afro, do you want this fade? And of course, Afro was like, <laughs> yeah. So Afro just straight him off this master. Bro said, you Dang. are not my dad. So that man, Gino, got up and he was like, Afro, what have you done? You're my brother, Afro. I mean, even though you're already on the dark side, you was about to destroy the Sith, not join them. My bad, cuz. And that man, Gino, fell off a cliff. And after that day, Ninja Ninja was born to help Afro cope. And Gino was found by the League of Peanut Heads and turned in to Darth Teddy Bear. So after Afro sheds Ninja Ninja from his conscience because bro was like, I gotta tap in. Afro finally got serious and they started really, really scrapping. But this man Afro said enough of this bullshit and hits this man with a critical hit. That man really hit him with the, even though you was my brother, you could still get cooked. <laughs> all right, hey, rest bestie. In peace, bozo. So finally, after all the long years in the rampage this man has gone on, Afro is now about to slide for his pops. This man, Justice, AKA Freddy Krueger, just sitting here looking malnourished as fuck, looking like a dried sponge, starts saying, about damn time, little nigga. In all honesty, I was getting bored. But it looks okay, like so this the dude that killed his dad. Mm -hmm. I thought he was dead, so they must have lied about that. Then. Yes, yes, they lied about that. That's what it said. They must have been lying. Dang. Like your black asses finally came to spin for your pappy. So Freddy jump up and shoot him and told him, get ready to join your daddy, nigga. So this man oh, just started blasting, bro. This nigga Freddy. has an infinite mag. He hasn't reloaded once. But that man Afro got in close and cut off his arms. But this man Freddy said, you've fallen into my trap, dumbass. And it is finally revealed how this man killed Afro's dad. Bro has a third arm in his back. What? But Afro counters it and slits bro's So he like an ant. that nigga's head is hanging off for dear life. But obviously, uh... It's not that easy to kill Freddy. Bro reattaches his head and earth bends this what? nigga to heaven. So bro thinks he stabbed him through the head, but bro's aim is garbage. He stabbed him through the afro. So afro comes down and shish kebabs this nigga. Oh. And that man. Bruh, he cut him up into pieces like sandwich pieces. You know what I'm saying? They said a, they said a shish kebab. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dang, bro, like I'm, I'm so right. locked into this. It's like, bro, I'm so locked into this. That's why I ain't even talking much. I'm so locked into nah, this. Nah, it's okay. I be locked into it. It's real good. Afro finally became the coldest, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as you could tell, that was a long-ass Exhibit A. Because to be honest with you, that's the only shit bro needed. But Exhibit B stands for bonus. I mean, 
Okay, oh, we got a bonus. Bonus exhibit from yours truly. So after you know the whole main story happens, there's a movie after this where some bad bitch comes and tries to fuck up this whole oh. nigga's life. And she is also another one of Afro's childhood friends. Why is all of his childhood friends trying to kill him? So she ends up taking the number one headband from him and ends up resurrecting this man's dad. But what? what we are gonna be focusing on is actually none of that. There is a certain fight in this movie that will dead ass make you question your morals. And you will realize, even though this man Afro is the protagonist, this man is no damn hero. So since Afro lost the number one headband, Afro had to go and search for the number two again. So later on, while he's on his journey, he runs into some motherfucker looking like he just got off the set of Pocahontas kidnapping some kid. But obviously, bro started shitting bricks when he realized, oh shit, nigga, that's Afro. So bro tried to shoot him with his shorty, but that man got cooked in like 0.5 seconds. Blood got his <laughs> face sliced off. Dang. So then this man's dad comes. And he's like, hey, bro, I appreciate you saving my kid and everything, dude. Judging by your appearance, are you here for rolling loud, bro? What? Rolling loud. Me. Come on, bro. <laughs> Let's go get some drinks before the concert. And this man was not lying. While Afro was getting drinks with this man, these motherfuckers is dead ass having a music festival. Look at the dude right here, bro. Like, yo, 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 know what the fuck going on? It's your boy DJ Noodle Bark on the Okay. Ain't gonna lie, that concert in the lid, though. So while everybody's outside right now and join Rolling Loud with DJ Noodle Barnacle, Afro's in here with the mystery man. So bro's like, cheers, bra. Watch me shotgun this shit. So while they continue to talk, the man says, you know, dude, he's not even my real kid, man. You see, his father died to a nigga with an Afro. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is a number two headband holder, Shichiguro. But see, here's the he thing. He shouldn't have said Bro that. He actually has good intentions because he wants to hide the number two headband to stop the bloodshed. But this man, Afro, did not care at all. Bro will stop at nothing to get that musty ass headband. So they go outside and they about to duel. So Shichiguro's like, you know, bro, I really thought we could have been good friends, bro. But your vengeance blinds you, bro. Not cool. So they start to scrap and it looks like these dudes are just dead even. So Afro tries to land a strike, but bro stops it with chains on his forearm and he just got this big ass chain hanging. Bro got all this ice, this nigga Karapika. All bro missing is a shovel. So he just started whipping that hoe, had Afro on his heels. So Afro said to hell with this, let's have a change of scenery. So they run out to the festival and start fighting in front of everybody. They even started fighting in the damn floor. So why are they fighting a bad shot? He's out here watching from a distance. So she calls up DJ Noodle Barnacle and tells him, play my shit, baby. So bro pulls out his mixtape. Nigga said, I'm about to go platinum with this. And they end up getting jumped by the damn foot clan. I guess this man Shredder said, y'all best get ready for my trial. So this man Afro had to deal with these middle of the boss fight NPCs. So after these two literally murder the entire foot clan, Chichi girl's like, let's go ahead, finish this off, brah. Mano way mano, bro. So they started scrapping again and they are still dead even. But this man Afro pulled out one of the dirtiest tricks I have ever okay. seen. Okay. DJ Noodle Barnacle drops from the float. Afro grabs him and pushes him to Shichiguro, uses him as a body shield, what? and stabs Shichiguro through the DJ. Bro! <laughs> oh. Ain't no way this nigga just used DJ Noodle Barnacle as a body shield. And that man ended up killing Shichiguro and taking that number two headband back. Dang. Right in front of his son. son. This man Afro has basically killed both of this little kid's father figures. And before he left, he had to say a prayer for that pack. God is good. God is great. Let us thank him for this pack. Amen. And leaves this little ugly ass boy with this terrible ass haircut to <laughs> grieve over his oh, dead father. Oh man. And after the fight, uh, you want to know what Afro did? <laughs> but no, it actually gets crazier from here. So after this man basically killed his Frankenstein ass father and got the number one headband back, the little boy ended up following him. And Afro mean mugs little bro and hands him the number two headband and tells him, come get it back in blood. He did this kid the what? exact same way. Justice did him 
all those years ago. That's and what the I was cycle about to of say. Revenge continues. No, 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 bro. This nigga's a demon. Yeah. Well, uh, that's a dark way to end off a video. Well, at least it can't possibly get worse than this. A little longer than a few minutes later. Hold down. In the manga at the end, Kotaro fish off with Afrobe here. Oh, I'm a fucking puke. I'm fucking sick. <laughs> hold on. What did you he say? No, 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 bro. This nigga's a hold demon. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I ain't uh, need to catch that's that. That's a dark way to. He is killed by him through decapitation. Oh, man. Kotaro fish off with Afrobe here. Oh, I'm a fucking puke. I'm fucking <laughs> sick. Hey, 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 hey. There we go, though. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Hey. This will, hey, yo, look. So beautiful. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna count. Hey. So what you think about that video? What you rated one through ten? I rated a ten. It was lit. Like it was so many surprises. I fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, towards the end, I don't know. It's like the cycle repeated itself. You know how Afro oh. man, he basically, yeah. you know, his dad was killed yeah, in front of him number. too. Mm -hmm. All over some headbands. That's insane. He wanted that number two headband. Nah, mm -hmm. it's going to be a part two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is insane right here. Anything else you want to say to everybody? No, it was lit. Y'all need to go watch it. It was too big. Hey, y'all hit that like, hit that sub right now. Go follow her, all right? I'm going to leave her link in the description. Go follow her. Go show us some love right now, guys, all right? <laughs> but we out, man. It's the Fat Red Guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys have a wonderful day, man.